Hey guys, it's Danica, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorites from the mo month of March and April. I didn't film a month March favorites just because I was like super lazy and I just didn't feel like filming or editing, but I am back with a combined favorites, so I have a few things to share with you guys. Also, I got new lighting, so hopefully this video comes out right. Let me know how it looks. I think it looks pretty good, right? Hopefully. Before I get into the products that I've been liking, I wanted to quickly talk about the YouTube Brandcast event that I went to. Oh my god, if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you would see like how crazy it was. So basically, I went to the YouTube Brandcast on the red carpet and I got to meet so many like famous YouTubers. I'll insert all the pictures like here or something or you can see my Instagram post or like my blog post or whatever on all the pictures that I've taken but it was so much fun. I went with my friend Anna, hi Anna, and we got to just meet so many YouTubers on the red carpet and take pictures with them. I have a few Polaroids, yes I did bring my Polaroid camera even though it was super annoying to like ask all the people to like, oh just take the selfie blah blah blah. But I really wanted to take Polaroids instead of like regular pictures on the phone. So I have so many here. I don't know if you can see, but I took some with Meredith Foster. Um, oh my god, Amanda Steele. She's so pretty in real life. So, well, they all are, but like I was amazed by her beauty. I was also so excited to meet Gigi. She looked so fabulous and it was like, Oh my god, girl, you look so fab. And she's like, thank you. And then there's actually like a Getty Images photo of us like together when we were taking the selfie. And I was like, oh my god, the pops caught us slipping. And then who else did I meet? Um, did I say Meredith? I met Meredith. Oh my god, Bethany Moda, my girl. I've been watching her since like she first started and I told her that we had the same birthday. And she's like, oh my god, you're a Scorpio. And I was like, I know, we're the best. And then I met My Life is Ava, and she was actually hosting the red carpet with Smoozy, but I didn't get, it, get to get a picture with him. And then I met Louise too, even though she's kind of like cut out. I also saw like um, Jesse from like Prank vs. Prank or GF vs. BF or whatever. And I ended up being in his vlog, and then I ended up being in Casey's vlog. And when Casey came out, oh my god, the crowd went wild. Everyone literally was there for Casey, and all these like little kids, like 10 year olds, they were like, all waiting for him to come out and he was the last person there so when he finally came out it was like all like hell broke loose and everyone was like rushing to the front but he didn't really take that many like pictures with people but I can understand because like it would take forever but I ended up being in his vlog when he like did like a pan over of the red carpet so I was so excited to see that I just quickly wanted to talk about that because it was so much fun and like I figured you guys would like freak out too. So let's just get into the products that I've been loving. So first up I have a nail polish and this is the nail polish I'm wearing right now and it's from the Kylie Sinful Colors collection and it's in the shade Kryptonite and it's just like this emerald like bejeweled green kind of color. I love like jewel toned nail polishes because I feel like you can wear them throughout the year and I have a few of the nail polishes from this line and this one is definitely my favorite and it's also a gel nail polish which like I'm kind of skeptical about gel nail polishes just I feel like they're kind of gimmicky because like if you wanted a real gel manicure just go to the salon and get them but these actually last so long I have this nail polish color I've had this on for like one and a half weeks and it looks pretty darn good. Next I have this eyeshadow brush and it's from Wet n Wild and I think this is discontinued but I saw these at the Dollar Tree and I love this so much that I went back and bought four more. This is how much I love this brush and it's basically an eyeshadow brush and what I like about it is that it's like wide enough that you can like pack on color on your lid but then the end is super super fluffy so that you can like blend out all your eyeshadows in the crease and that's basically what I've been wearing or <laughs> this is basically what I've been using every single day next I have two skincare items and they actually come in a set at Target you can get it for like five dollars I think and it's the Laneige water sleeping mask and the multi yogurt berry repairing mask this stuff is so good I recently like changed my skincare routine and I've included a lot more Korean beauty products because I feel like 
my skin responds really well to Korean beauty stuff. So this is the water sleeping mask and it's basically like a really thick moisturizer that you put on before you go to bed and then it kind of like leaves a sticky feeling but it's not like so sticky where you'll stick to the pillowcase and it just hydrates your skin so much overnight and then when you wake up in the morning you like wash all the remnants off and then the other product that comes in the set is the multi-berry yogurt repairing mask I haven't used this a lot I think I've used it like once or twice but the main reason I wanted to share this was because of the scent oh my god it smells exactly like strawberry pocky sticks if you're like Asian or you love Asian snacks you definitely know what I'm talking about every time I put this on my face I'm tempted to just like lick myself instead of actually like letting the product sit in and I haven't really noticed anything like re being repaired on my skin it's just a really good kind of moisturizer I have another Kylie product to share with you guys. I know I'm, you can totally tell I'm such a stan. But if you've watched my Kylie Lip Kit swatches video, then you'll know what color I'm talking about. And that is the Mary Jo Liquid Lipstick. Hallelujah, like I love this stuff. The thing with like wearing bold colors for me is, is that I'm always scared that it will like smear out and it will just like look like a hot mess. But this stuff, if you watch my video, it's literally stays in place forever and I just have to put the liner and then put this on once throughout the day and it stays on all day. Oh my god, I'm so excited to share the next thing with you guys and they are the Olay Daily Facial Gentle Clean Makeup Wipes or Cleansing Wipes. This stuff is so good, like your life will be changed. I watched Emily Noel's video and I literally trust anything that she says. She is like such a queen when it comes to reviewing beauty products and she said that these were her like favorite like ride or die makeup wipes. They look like this and they have a bunch of holes in them just so they can like really take off all that makeup and you just run them under warm water and then like I like to scrub them together to get the bubbles all like bubbled up and, and then I just like use it all over my face and it takes off everything except for waterproof mascara but like whatever it didn't claim to take waterproof mascara off and what's great about these it doesn't leave a sticky feeling on your skin there are so many makeup wipes that I use that like have that sticky feeling and I feel like there's like an another layer of product when I've just taken off my makeup and it's just so annoying and I feel like they don't really cleanse as well as these and that's what was making me like break out so ever since I've been using these my skin has cleared up so much next I have a perfume and it's this Victoria's Secret Angel and I love the packaging like let's just talk about it for a minute I love how it's square and like rectangular and super chic because it reminds me a lot of a Chanel um, perfume I don't know how to describe it, but it's very like sweet and florally, and it's just perfect for the spring, and it's really fresh. I don't know how to describe perfumes. The last item that I have to share with you is this Sweethearts blush from Too Faced. I've never really tried Too Faced before, but I am so in love with this. It's just the perfect berry pink. I think it's called something about berry. Yeah, that's what it's called, and it's like three different shades of pink but I just swirl my brush around and like put it all on my cheeks it's really really sparkly which I love because I'm like so over everything being so matte like matte foundation matte eyeshadow matte blush blah 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 matte lipstick I'm always the type of girl who will like pick something sparkly over something matte as for books and music, I have no books to share because I didn't read anything because I was lazy. But for music, I did go to two concerts in March. I saw Carly Rae Jepsen and then the next day I saw Rihanna. And to cure my post-concert depression, I've been listening to Emotion by Emotion on iTunes. It's the best album you will listen to in your whole entire life, I swear. And I've been listening to Anti on repeat just because they're just great albums in general but I feel like after you watch a person in concert you can't listen to the music the same way and that's how I feel about these two albums I get even like more emotional because I've heard the songs like in real life and it's just like I think about the performance and everything and it was just so good so I've been loving those two albums and I've also been loving Life of Pablo <laughs> I said that so weird I've also been loving Life of Pablo obviously who hasn't so my favorites off of Life of Pablo are 
famous, even though this is Taylor Swift, but whatever, um, Waves and Real Friends, No More Parties in LA, like those two tracks, oh my god, those are so good. So those are all of my favorites from the month of March and April. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. I am really excited for the semester to be over just so I have a lot of more free time to make videos and stuff because like finals are just taking over my life right now. But once the semester ends and summer comes around, I'll make so many more videos. So just let me know what you guys would like to see. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. My username is the same as this channel. It's Danica Del Rey. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!